everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all how you can add the FAQ section to your Wix website. Now, I'm sure some of you may already know about the FAQ section. However, there is a new feature that I think a lot of you can benefit from. I'm also gonna show you how to add it in the classic editor and editor X, because I know editor X can be a little bit wonky. So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to do that inside of editor X without messing up your website. So be sure to stay tuned because I'm sure a lot of you can still benefit from this video, even if you already know about the FAQ section. If you don't know what an FAQ section is, it's basically a section or even a page on a website that goes over the commonly asked questions that the company gets about their services, their products, or even business. This is very beneficial because it prevents your inbox from getting spammed with the same questions that you have to answer over and over and over. And the good thing is it's pretty easy to add. So in the classic editor, if you would like to add it onto your website, all you would have to do is maybe scroll down to where you would like to add it. Then you can come over to the add apps panel and just type in FAQ. And the first option will be this Wix FAQ right here. And all you have to do is press add to site. Now it's gonna basically add a little element on the page for you. And a cool thing you'll notice is that it already pulled the colors and the fonts from your site themes. So if you want to change your site themes, all you have to do is press this little button right here, go to site themes, press customize, and you'll see colors and text. And as you can see, the frequently asked question app already pulled those default font choices and colors for you. In editor X, it works a little bit differently. If I want to add an FAQ section down here and maybe this section right here, and I come over to the app marketplace and press FAQ and type in FAQ and press add to site, you're gonna notice that it basically put the app at the very top of the website, which is not really ideal because then you'll have to like kind of drag it down and potentially accidentally attach it to stacks and containers that you don't want to mess with. So the best method that I have found that can help prevent this is just go all the way up to the top of your website, just like this. We're gonna press the add section. We'll just add a blank one. And we'll go ahead and make it like 900 pixels high for now. Then we can go to the app marketplace, go to the Wix FAQ and go ahead and add it now. Now, usually this inserts it into the top section, but for some reason it's still put it in the, in the original top section. But now that we have a section ready at the very top, it's a lot less dragging and we can literally just drag it into this section up here with ease. And now that the FAQ section is in the top section, all we have to do is come over to the layers panel and we can just drag this one down to wherever we want this section, just like that. And once again, you'll also notice that it pulled the site fonts and colors for, for editor X as well. But now let's go back to the classic editor for now. If we go ahead and press settings, if we look here at the little box that pops up, we're gonna see that we can display the title and we can change the title. We can display the search bar if we want to. And you'll see you have a bunch of different settings for displaying different items, different layouts. So you can choose if the text aligns to the left, center or right for the title. Personally, I think the left looks really good for this specific website. In the settings, you can show one answer at the time, and you can always show the first answer when the user scrolls on it. If this is unchecked, it will just display it like this. But if this is on, it will always display the first answer. And you can turn on show one answer at a time. That way, if someone expands a collapsed answer, it will collapse another answer that may be open. If this is turned off, then if they continue to expand questions, then they'll all be expanded at once. And then of course, in design here, we can change the background colors. We can change the fonts and colors of the questions and answers. And we can even change the icon from an arrow to a plus and minus sign. And we can also change the color of the divider and set a width if we want to as well. And then if you would like to change the questions, you'll see a little button right here that says manage FAQs. 
And basically what that's gonna do is open up the dashboard. And here you'll be able to add new questions. You can even add categories if you would like. And if you wanted to add a new one, what you could do is just come over to add new and do question and answer or category. Or if you just wanna add one to a specific category, you can press this little three dot icon and press add questions. You can rename the category or you can even delete the category if you'd like as well. And the cool thing is, is if you do not want to actually go into your website editor to edit the questions and answers, there is another option inside of the dashboard for the website. So there will be two options. The first one is you might see a little FAQ section or tab right here, and you can click it right there. Or if you don't see it there, what you can do is come over to apps. You'll see FAQ section right here, and then you can open that up right there and you will have the same settings here. Now, once you are done editing these, the questions and answers will automatically update on your website without you having to go into the editor and press publish. And the last thing that I would like to mention is the new feature that they may have already added or plan on adding. You know, when you are using a search engine and you ask a question, sometimes one of the top results will provide you with more information about that topic without you having to read a little bit of text or click on a post to learn more about it. And the cool thing is, is with the FAQ section, either already or in the near future, you should be able to have options like this if you know, you're answering a question that a lot of people are asking on Google, you might be able to have your questions and answers from your website display like this on Google. But that basically wraps it up for the video today. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.